We might not have to worry like they did in the 1975 hit movie Jaws, but the threat is certainly there and the fear for sure. Researchers say large sharks have arrived in the waters near Cape Cod, a popular vacation destination, especially this time of year. We're heading into the 4th of July weekend. At least 11 sharks so far have been spotted in that area over the past week alone. And while shark attacks are rare, we say that all the time, they do happen, and that's why we get that fear. There have been a total of several incidents in the U.S. just this year alone. Fortunately, no one has died. Brian Laguerre is the manager of the Shark Ecology Research Program, joining us live tonight. Uh, Brian, good to see you. Why are sharks drawn to this particular area of Cape Cod right now? Well, sharks are drawn to Cape Cod due to the abundance of uh, food resources here. You know, we have both fishes that the uh, smaller sharks eat and a, a healthy seal population along our shores. What else do we know about shark migration and, and where else they're showing up this time of year where people should be keeping an eye out? Well, you know, sharks this time of the year uh, come up from the south. They are, you know, snowbirds, as you may say. Uh, they arrive on the shores of Cape Cod when the temperatures become above, you know, above around 50 degrees and they stay for the summer uh, due to our abundant resources. And they do hunt in shallow waters. And knowing that and knowing that the water is the shark's home, is it best when we know that there are more sharks than normal in the water just to stay on the beach? Yeah, you know, the best things we can do is um, be respectful of the sharks in the waters and, you know, follow uh, some good practices and guidelines of swimming very close to shore, not very deep, and, you know, just being conscious of your surroundings. What's the biggest mistake that people make when they're in the water around sharks? You know, swimming too deep, um, swimming near seals, uh, murky water tends to be a big one because uh, you can often be mistaken for uh, one of their food sources. How about myths about shark sharks? What do you hear all the time that you say that, come on, people stop spreading that rumor, sharks aren't all that bad. What do you want to correct for the record tonight? Well, you know, the big thing is that like, if a shark's in the water and you're in the water, that one is going to bite you. No, sharks generally don't have any um, interest in humans. Um, they are just fish with, you know, a sharp end and pointy end, and they uh, tend to avoid us as much as possible. Right. We always hear tips and advice when you're around a bear, what to do, when you're around other wildlife. When you're around a shark, if a shark bites you, what's the what's what do you not want to do to get out of that situation? Uh, in that situation, if a shark is biting you, you want to try to make yourself, you know, anyone on shore to be aware that uh, this is occurring and try to get to shore as quickly as possible. Are attacks up? Are, are we seeing more sharks in waters where we normally don't? Um, well, the population of white sharks uh, in particular have uh, rebounded. So we have had a handful of incidences over the past decade. Uh, but in general, you know, the shark, you know, attacks or incidences are, are on par year to year. How about you? How close um, of an encounter have you had with sharks? Um, any close calls that made you nervous? Uh, generally, no. I'm an avid scuba diver and I've been in the water with many, many, many sharks. Everything from uh, hammerheads to lemon sharks and tiger sharks. And um, when visibility is clear uh both you know the human species myself and the sharks generally keep respectful distance of each other clear water good murky water not so good all right yeah. brian laguerre uh, shark ecology research program appreciate your time tonight stay safe in the water thank you all right thank you for watching go to newsnationnow.com to find news nation on your television provider and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of news nation's fact-driven unbiased coverage